Good to have my man Spence check us in for another edition of Five Questions with Spence. Full disclosure, shorts, injured knee, brace, pants won't fit around it. You should have left the brace on, though. No, I, I felt like I could wearing, have autographed it. Well, I, yeah, I wish you would have told me that before. I felt like wearing a brace on TV would be a bad no, look. But shorts is okay. What's wrong with shorts? I'm just it's kidding. I wear all the time. It's 95 degrees no, outside. No, absolutely. Yeah. No, you look great. Everything else no, going on? Too late for that. Yeah, everything's other good. Other than the Dave. injury. Yeah, everything's good. <laughs> nice tie. Thanks. Question number one, Keontae George. He's lit up his last two summer league games, scoring 33 with 10 assists in his first game in Vegas and then dropped 26 last night. What do performances like this mean given it's the summer league? Well, the good news is if you're an NBA team, you want to make sure that your vets and your first round picks don't look, o don't look overwhelmed. So Johnny Juzang, good game last night. He's got a year under his belt in the NBA. Jabari Smith uh, for Houston looks insanely good. Benedict Matherin. So you want your vets and your high picks to not look overwhelmed, and Keontae looks the exact opposite. He's been one of the best players in Vegas so far. Yeah. I wonder if they shut him down. They're not in action again until Wednesday, again, tomorrow against Denver, then Friday against Phoenix. The Spurs just shut Victor Wembanyama down. I feel like the Jazz have seen enough from Keontae to be like, dude, let's just sit you, not get hurt, because he's been really good. Now, I never anoint anyone based off of Summer League. If you were there in 97, you watched Greg Ostertag yeah. outplay Tim Duncan. Greg, Greg Anthony looked like the best point guard in the NBA back during his summer league stint. Both those guys are NBA players. So get excited for this great young rookie, but don't expect this to translate to the NBA level. It rarely does in summer league. Don't forget, Ostertag led the Jazz to the NBA championship. It's great Seriously. knowledge, Dave. Yep. <laughs> Question number two. Despite, People turning the channel into Despite a missing pace. out on the attempt to sign free agent Paul Reed, Jazz owner Ryan Smith recently said that the team still has room for one or two more moves. What would you like to see the team do? So the market's kind of dry at this point when yeah. it comes to free agents. And I thought the Paul Reed move was interesting because it feels like Kessler, Markinen, um, John Collins, uh, Taylor Hendricks, uh, Kelly Olynyk. you have five bigs and Paul Reed's a backup center. He's played backup to Joel Embiid in Philadelphia. So he's a good player, but I was surprised they didn't elect to try to uh, add another lead guard. I, I'm not using point guard anymore because yeah, it seems yeah. like Will and the no Jazz does, have this yeah. group of guys that can handle the ball, initiate the offense. Phoenix is going to roll with Brad Beal and Devin Booker as their backcourt. Those two are awesome, but neither is a lead guard. So like, at this point, it's hard to expect a splash in free agency. They've got about $7.8 million to spend. Um, and there's a chance that the group might be the group. They might not do anything, yeah, exactly. but they've got a little flexibility. And obviously, there's still Damian Lillard out there. So maybe a trade oh, comes down. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. <laughs> All right, question number three, Real Salt Lake, they're rolling. They yep. got five wins in their last seven games. They sit in fourth place yep. in the MLS uh, West, which seemed like it's a month ago. They were in the, nearly in the basement. Yeah. Is this sustainable? I think so. You know, I was at the game. I was at the game on Saturday. It was my first home game that I've attended. I actually went down to Austin to see that game. And I, I'm, I'm not a hyperbolic guy, as you know. I'm not sure that I've ever seen a Real Salt Lake club look the way that that club looked on Saturday. Really? It was 4-0. It yeah. could have been 7 or 8. Orlando's the second best road team in all of MLS. Chicho Arango in the fold. He gets his, his goal and his team debut, the sixth player in history to do that. Shout out to Trey for the knowledge. And I think this guy's the limit for this group. The expectation should no longer be just advanced to the playoffs. Let's start listing, lifting trophies. We've got Open Cup coming up. And then the playoffs, there hasn't been a trophy won by RSL since 2009. It's 15 wow. years. So the expectation should change. Elliot, his staff, Pablo, his staff, they've done a great job. This is a really good team, and they're fun to watch. Yeah, they are a lot of fun. Oh. Uh, fun fact, 2009, I was there when they won that trophy. That's, there's nothing fun Seattle. about that. That's not, that's not a fun <laughs> fact. It's just a fact. It's not fun. It's just something that happened. Question change, number four. Change question your definition four. of fun facts, please. BYU takes part in its first Big 12 football media days tomorrow in Dallas. A fun fact, I grew up in Dallas. That's, not, that's also not fun. It's just a thing. <laughs> just redefine, please. The Cougars were picked 11th in the preseason media poll. Do yeah. you agree with that? It's hard to know with the landscape of the conference. You know, um, Bill Conley wrote the Big 12 preview for ESPN, and he referenced two examples. One is the University of Utah, 18 and 19 in their first 37 Pac-12 games. TCU struggled for the first four years of Big 12 inclusion. If you're a BYU fan, enjoy that your, no, your November home schedule is no longer like UMass and East Carolina, <laughs> right. and you have Oklahoma and Iowa State. Yeah. So I would enjoy it, have fun, don't expect much. I'm pulling for Kalani and A-Rod. Those are my guys. They coached under Kyle when Utah went into the Pac-12, so they have that frame of reference. They know it's going to take some time. We know it's going to take some time. 
hopefully BYU fans understand a little little grace is going to be needed. It's going to take a minute before they, they before they fit in. Oklahoma in Provo this year, however, yeah, and then yeah. they leave the league. Yep, of course, yes, they do. Fun fact: Chase Thompson's an Oklahoma grad. That is a fun fact because <laughs> Chase is my guy. I'll, I'll allow that to be a fun fact. <laughs> Very good. Question number five. What are you most excited for? The start of the high school football season, which, by the way, is in four weeks from Thursday night. Uh -huh. The start of the college football season or the start of the NFL football season. So college football has really become like my second favorite sport to the okay. NBA. I love the NFL, uh, play fantasy football, enjoy my NFL red zone Sunday ticket, you know, breakfast burrito in hand at 9, you know, 9 a.m. watching the pregames, then watching all the games all day. But there's nothing like a college football Saturday in the fall. Yeah. And with BYU now in the Big 12, Utah in the Pac-12, we are becoming a more of a you know, bigger media market. If we get Major League Baseball, the NHL, the sky's the limit. So pumped because Utah is going to be really good again. They have a shot to win the whole thing again. And excited to see how BYU traverses the space. It's a good question. Love the NFL. I'll take college football. I like them all, mainly because uh, a Lemon Frank and I get to broadcast the high school games as yeah, well. Yeah, that's so. really exciting. Yeah, that's, that's a, a fun, fun fact. fact. Yeah, it is. Yes, that it is. is a fun fact? That's a fun fact. Okay. Because a Lemon Frank are my guys. They're but you, you growing up in Dallas, so there's nothing fun about anything that. Anything for me is just an anecdote. It's just a thing. It's not okay. a fun fact. It's just a thing. Spence Jack is here every day on ESPN 700 from 2 to 6. And follow along. He's great on Instagram sure. and a few other places. See a picture of my knee brace. Oh, man.